Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland uh, says the following. By omitting outliers, small and large price changes, and focusing on the interior of the distribution of price changes, the median CPI can provide a better signal of the underlying inflation trend than either the all-item CPI or the CPI excluding food and energy. Here we have a table. Uh, we have five goods in this table. We have the prices for each good in June and July. And the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the percentage price change from June to July. So going from 10 to $12 here for good A is a 20% increase, just using the percentage change formula. And I do the same thing for the other goods. So calculate the percentage changes in prices for all five goods here. Uh, you also have this column here called relative importance. I'll talk about that in a moment. The next step is we're going to range the goods by percentage price change in ascending order. So uh, we start with good C as the lowest percentage price change. In fact, it's negative. So the ascending order of the price changes is going to be good C, followed by good B at 5%, followed by good D at 15%, then good A at 20%, and finally good E at 50%. So we're going to range all the goods uh, based on the percentage price change in ascending order. So we'll do that in the next slide. Now a little bit about this relative importance. This represents the importance or the weight of the item in the family's budget. So this 38 means that the typical family spends 38% of their budget on good A, the 15 means the family, typical family, spends 15% of their budget on good B, and so on. Therefore, these weights will sum to 100 or 100%. 100 All right, so after arranging our goods uh, by the percentage change in ascending order and just carrying across our relative importance, and then the last column here is the cumulative relative importance. So. We got 20, then 20 plus 15 is 35, this 20 plus 15 plus 17 is 52, and so on. So we just got the cumulative relative importance or weight in this last column. So what is the median one month percentage change in the CPI? It is basically the good that crosses the 50% mark on the cumulative relative importance. So looking at this cumulative relative importance, the good that crosses the 50% mark here is good D. That good increased in price over the month from June to July by 15%, and that then will represent the median CPI increase for the month of July, 15%. All right, that's it.